He's chairman of the Oversight Committee of Government Reform Committee, too, and he's been in the eye of the storm of all these investigations from the Obama years now into the Trump years. Uh, Congressman Jason Chaffetz, welcome back. Good morning, good morning. First off, when the tweets come out on Saturday, what are you thinking? <laughs> wow. You wake up in the morning, you have no idea what's going to happen. So, I, look, I, we're going to look hard at this. Uh, Devin Nunes and the House Intelligence Committee will, will take the lead on this. We'll play a role in the Oversight Committee, but... I, I'm going to go into it eyes wide open. We've had experience that Obama administration has been notorious on this type of stuff, and we're going to look hard at it. You're a victim. Well, yeah. Look, let's let's remember what they did with James Rosen. Let's remember that the IRS did target uh, uh, you know Americans Concerned. based on their political sure. beliefs. And in my own personal case, I had more than 40 40 Secret Service agents illegally tap into my records mm -hmm. and dive into my background and that's according to the inspector general so this stuff does happen and it's not necessarily done the legal lawful way and so yeah we're going to take a look and at it and what happened to those agents that did no, that to nothing, you nothing. it was a one-day story and the national media just kind of pushed it across i'm the chairman of the oversight committee 40 secret service agents dove into my records illegally nothing why did they do that to you well, I was fairly critical of the Obama administration. and I'm just saying, look, I don't know what the end result is going to be. Devin Nunes is going to take a hard look at this with the, the House Intelligence mm -hmm. Committee. We'll play a supporting role. But let's, let's sure. see what we're going to find. Absolutely. And when you look, at, okay, so the president says, you know, it sounds like I was tapped, wiretapped. And you look at the history, and there are reports in the mainstream media about how a criminal complaint was, or a criminal warrant was sought in June. It was denied. Then it became a FISA request, and it was granted. So it looks like the administration was trying to get into uh, the business of investigating Trump before a presidential election, which is unheard of. Well, the allegation is one of the strongest we've ever seen. Now, following that fact pattern, again, the Intel Committee is going to have to look at that and yeah. dive into that. But that paper trail should be you know, fairly Easy. evident, fairly Wait evident. But yes. will, will you, as Chairman of Oversight, find out if there was indeed a Pfizer request made in Jul July and refused, and another one in the fall and granted? I, I, again, House Intel will take the lead on that. We'll right. play a supporting will role. They? But they will. Yeah, be, somehow between the two of us, we'll, we will get to the bottom of this. All right, yeah, what so happens if you find out that, yes, there were these Pfizer requests? Uh, look, I, I'm not going to presuppose the conclusion of this or any way. I've, I've been in this long enough to know that when you come around a corner, you don't necessarily know what you're going to see, so sure. we'll keep our eyes wide open. There's right. a report in the New York Times that James Comey wants the Justice Department to come out and say the FBI never wiretapped. Yeah. What do you take from this story? Because it's not a quote. It's according to a senior source that Comey feels that way. It's clearly another leak. Yeah, I saw it's one of the headlines in the, in the New York Times, and it said an American official. I mean, it couldn't be more right. broad. I did try to contact the FBI director over the weekend, did not uh, communicate back. I, un I understand that. But I do think it's, it's it. Well, look, I, I do think it's interesting that the Department of Justice has not officially weighed in on this yet. So. Uh, it's early Monday morning. We'll see what happens, sure. but who would concessions do that because it's Russia involved? And if so, do you go to the deputy who was appointed by Obama? I I, I don't know. We're not going to have sure. this solved by by Wednesday, uh, but we are looking at it. And since you're in the business of oversight, yeah. How about the fact that in the waning days of the Obama administration? Uh, it sounds like they changed the NSA rules so that they could take the intel that they had and spread it all over the place, leaving a million landmines that are going to be blowing up for the next year to try to destroy Donald Trump. Well, look, I saw you had Tucker Carlson on earlier. He's exactly right. There are a lot of things that we need to look at. What is the government doing in that regard? What are they doing with facial recognition? What are they doing with tracking your geolocation? These are all things that we have been trying to get answers from the Obama administration on that they would not they would not answer. So we'll continue to look Let's at that. Let's talk about Obamacare. Will mm -hmm. there be a replacement this week? There are reports that there could be a replacement. Yeah, I think, I think that would happen per, perhaps as early as today, and I think even before the end of the week, we may very well may see a markup, which is when it goes to the committee, and then they can actually offer amendments and have the back and forth. And I love the process that we're going through. Rather than the Democrats in the dead of the night introducing something and then voting on it hours later, we're going to have an open process where they can actually offer amendments in the committee. Right. 
and we'll see what the conclusion does, is. Does it bother you that Jim Jordan and the Freedom Caucus, uh, Caucus do not agree with what they know about Paul Ryan's plan? Does it bother you that Rand Paul feels shut out? No. Well, look, uh, Rand Paul's in the Senate. He's actually got a pretty darn good plan, mm -hmm. uh, which there's lots you to like, like his about. Plan? Well, there's lots to like about it. But let the process play out. It, what we do know is that Obamacare is in a death spiral. And for those of us that are paying higher deductibles, you have that Obamacare. It, it's awful. It's terrible. We have such trouble finding the doctor we want to use. It costs more. We get less. It's th that's what every American's going through. And so it's in a death spiral. We are going to make it better. We are going to fix it. We're going to repeal it. We're going to replace it. But appreciate the process where each member gets to weigh in on sure. this, well, not just heavy-handed, hey, here it is, and, and take it or leave it. Yeah. Senator Rand Paul was upset. Over the weekend, he was on a lot of the Sunday shows talking about the fact that he was shut out of the process, and he was saying, remember when Nancy Pelosi said, we need to pass it, and then we'll read it? He's no, saying that no. that's what's happening here, too. No, that's hogwash. Uh, look, he should be focused on the Senate. What he was complaining about is the House process, but the House is going to introduce something, and we're going to go through this process, and it'll play out over the several weeks, and that's the way it's supposed and to be. And then next step after that, taxes, right? <laughs> that's the plan. It, it, look, we're going to get some big things done. And that, that's what President Trump wants to do. It's what I want to do. It's what America elected us to do. Has so that's what we got to do. Has the Russian turbulence slowed down the agenda? No, well, look, we can walk and chew gum too. And, and, and it, these are very serious allegations. But I see, you know, the Democrats are over there flailing with their heads on fire. And, and they still can't figure out how they lost the election. But I see no evidence of collusion between the Russians right. and and the Trump campaign. There was some incidental communication or contact, but where's the evidence on that? They just not. They just don't see. Don't it. you think that if they had information that would tie, uh, you know, Jeff Sessions? There's there's a picture of him handing the yeah. getting the envelope full of the fifties with the microfilm. We wouldn't have already seen that. Yeah, they want to play that movie. They just don't have it. And so, yeah. if, look, if there's but the Intel Committee, the Oversight Committee, we're taking this very seriously, and we will dive into it, and we will look at it and, and see where it takes us. Hi, this is Sharon reporting from Bad News Media. Thanks for subscribing to our channel and giving us a thumbs up. We really appreciate your support. Please feel free to leave us a comment and share this video with your friends. Thank you.